Hey Run Junkies, welcome to Runners Without Limits TV. And we know that foam rolling and stretching should be a significant part of our running routine, right? Yes, of course you do. But what do these things actually do? Is it for flexibility? Is it for mobility? And aren't those two the same thing? Well, I'm here today to tell you that they are not the same thing by breaking down flexibility and mobility and why you need both. Simply put, flexibility is the ability to bend without breaking. Mobility is how easily and freely something moves. Put another way, flexibility is how much soft tissue can stretch. Mobility applies not just to soft tissues, but muscles and joints, ligaments, tendons. Now that we have those basic definitions out of the way, how do each of these apply to us as runners? And how do we improve each? Let's start with mobility. The most significant aspect of mobility training is the foam rolling or self-myofascial rolling. And it is the first step in preparing our body for correct movement. Now, a quick aside about rolling. While we might often think about getting down on the ground with something like a foam roller, that may not be practical for everyone and their mobility and flexibility status right now. There are a variety of foam rolling tools out there that fall under this category, including massage guns. Now, mobility is important to loosen up areas that might feel tight. Calves, hamstrings, or glutes are a good example. Foam rolling is most effective when done before a run. And this is a question I get a lot. Now, science has changed quite a bit about this. Hitting those tight areas before doing your dynamic stretches will help your body warm up better. Right. Okay, let's move on to flexibility. If the first thing you might think about is stretching, well, then you'd be right. Static stretching is a movement that brings the tissue to slight tension, held for 30 seconds or more, then release. Now, the thing about static stretching is that it is performed after a workout, not before. Think of a static calf stretch or a standing quad stretch. Dynamic stretching is done before a run or a workout, but after your foam rolling and is meant to mimic your body's movements during the exercise in question. Leg swings are a really good example of dynamic stretching. But why are we stretching? Now, as runners, overuse injuries pop up when we're not adequately stretching. Static stretches after a run will help cool down the muscles, relax the tension built up during the workout, and reduce post-workout soreness. Stretching will also improve performance for the next run. The rolling and dynamic stretching beforehand prepares your body for movement, activates the soft tissues. Like I said earlier, flexibility is how something bends without breaking. Dynamic stretches warm up the muscles. If you think of your muscles as like rubber bands, a warm rubber band will stretch more than a cold one, and a cold band might just snap. Conversely, after a run, the muscles are already warm, so static stretching will be more effective, bringing the muscles back to a relaxed length. So here's the order of operations. Rolling or mobility, dynamic stretching and flexibility, then your main workout, then static stretching, okay? The point of all of this, and the best way I've seen this described, is basically that we're like pizza dough, <laughs> okay? If we start stretching the dough out before we need it to make it pliable, it will break and crack in pieces. We also don't wanna just throw the dough in the oven without working it into the shape we want it to be in. The bottom line is that mobility and flexibility might seem similar, but they bring two very different functions to our running journey, and they are both necessary to see improvements in our running and reduce our risk of injury. But that is gonna do it for me today. My question for you today is this, how do you incorporate mobility and flexibility into your running journey? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Until next time, remember, you have no limits. Happy running.